What's up, everybody? I'm Brock, this is PDQ, and this is my Patch Tuesday t-shirt, which means we're back for another Patch Tuesday recap. Let's dive into these because we got some juicy ones to talk about. First, covering over the uh, what we received this month, we've got total exploits patch, that's gonna be 80. Actual Patch Tuesday release, it was like 74, somewhere around there. We, we received some patches, some out-of-band patches earlier this month. Uh, critical patches, we got 11, so that's looking good. Already known or exploited, seven, so I mean, we got some pretty good updates this month. You know, something to keep you busy because we had a long hiatus from the last patch Tuesday. There was five weeks in between then and now. So this one should uh, definitely keep you busy. Let's dive into some of the highlights. We'll start off with CVE 2025-29813. And if you were hoping to start off your patch Tuesday with a 10, I had to think about that for a second, or is it? You had it right the first time. That way? Perfect. If you were hoping for a 10, Microsoft delivered. All right, and being a 10, I think Microsoft likes to call this a major oopsie. Uh, I think that's the technical term for it. This is a Azure DevOps elevation of privilege vulnerability that uh, exploits Visual Studio improperly handling pipeline job tokens. Thankfully, Microsoft has already addressed this. They addressed it several days ago. They patched it. Users don't have to do anything on their end, which honestly, this is my favorite type of patch. You see the 10, you get real excited, your blood starts flowing. You're like, yeah, let's do some stuff. And then you find out that Microsoft already fixed everything for you. Then you just have this all this leftover energy and you just don't know what to do with it. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we got CVE 2025-30387. And if you use document intelligence to comb through all your files and data and to kind of extract all that stuff and make it useful for you, this exploits for you. This one's coming in at a 9.8 which is pretty up there. An attacker could gain an elevation of privilege over the network if they were to take advantage of this path traversal exploit. Thankfully, the exploit at this point is only theoretical. You know, this isn't out in the wild. Nobody's taken advantage of this yet. And who knows, maybe it wasn't even possible in the first place, but Microsoft did their due diligence and patched it anyways. They say that to be safe, you need to update the image to the latest tag, which shouldn't affect your user's data. Lastly, we're hi highlighting CVE 2025-47733. And if you wanna use AI to make really cool apps, Microsoft hopes that you'll use Microsoft Power Apps to do it. The only problem is they kind of snuck a vulnerability in there for you. This one's coming in at a 9.1, and this is a server-side request forgery exploit. Thankfully, Microsoft already fixed the uh, exploit on their end, or more likely, they had AI fix the AI exploit on their end. So no need to panic. You know, unless you panic about AI, then feel free to panic all you want. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this uh, this month. There are definitely more patches to be touched on, so definitely go through the Microsoft Security uh, Resource Guide and take a look at all those patches, see which ones apply to you, see which ones you could ignore, get your stuff updated, you know? Make sure you're patching, and better yet, make sure you automate everything. And if you're looking for a tool to do it, PDQ Connect, give it a shot. We got a free 14-day trial that you can just try it out. Automate all your patching worries away. Until next month, rock on everybody.